Okay guys, now over the last two days, we're on the topic of scratching, scratching an area for bigger edible fish. Um, not small, small fish, so I'm using 3-0 uh, hooks. The Mustad Ringed Soy 3-0, chemically sharpened, very light hook. That's why I'm using it. I've tied two baits, a prawn and an EP bait. Look on the previous videos if you didn't see that. This I'm going to use on my top hook, this on my bottom hook. This is a double hook scratching trace I'm going to make, very simple. Now first bottom one, I'll make a little bit longer like that. I'm going to use the quarter anti-tangle sleeves, which you just stick on. Stick your line through it. Alright. That I'm going to put through a swivel. And have it the length I want it. Use a figure of eight here. So basically you'll make about, for the bottom one, a 30, 35 centimeter length. I'll cut my tag end off. And then I'll pull this anti-tangle over it. Using a single power swivel. You pull it up nice and high as high as what you can. And there's the one for the bottom, bottom hook. Then for the top hook, going slightly shorter but doing exactly the same thing. Onto a swivel. Figure of eight. Now obviously you'll make this trace before you tie your bait. <laughs> but I tied the two bait demos quickly and I'm using those. You can have a throw with them in the water and see if anything eats it, that would be perfect. Again, anti-tangle sleeve, nice and high, over your swivel. And what this does, it keeps your, your line up. The water will wash it so it doesn't, it doesn't, remember you work, you're fishing in very much working water in between the rocks. So it gets tangled around your main line. And that's why we use the anti-tangles, is to keep it away from your main line as much as possible. We're still in the sea and it's still mixing a lot, so it's still possible. <coughs> and guys, all I'm gonna do now, is the fluorocarbon in between the two, in between the two swivels. Okay, and that goes down to the other one about this length. Tie that up, and that's my bottom bottom bait. Okay, so this is what we've got. All right, we've got the two hanging like that, and then on this bottom swivel, I'm putting my sinker line much thinner and I'll put a uh, just a granny knot into that to put it to the same as, as the main line your snoot between the two hooks 0.55 much thinner now if you want to throw four and onto banks and stuff you'll make this longer than your bottom so you can put a clip sinker if you want if you're fishing between the rocks it doesn't really matter what length you're gonna make it if you don't have to throw very far or clip the sinker. I'm going to grab a sinker. In between the rocks, I'm going to use these P, the P5, 92 gram. That's just over three ounces. Well, on three ounces, really. It's almost, yeah, three and a half. Tie your sinker onto that. 
Sitting again a figure of eight. Let's cut the tag in. Guys, now just to show you this trace, it's already catching bait boxes, rocks, everything. Okay, so this swivel now will tie to your main line. And there you've got your sinker, bottom bait, top bait. So this I'm going to tie to my rod now. Have a throw right here, close to us. There's a big rock in the water here under the water, which allows about 30 meters between it and us, the rocks we're standing on. And it's a lovely molding area for fish to come and look for food in, because everything washes in there and washes up there. 